Hello and welcome to our video tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to install WordPress on your remote hosting site. First of all, we're going to go to WordPress. Uh, just look it up in Google here. Go to their site. Download the file. Download the newest version, 2.6.3. And we'll just save that uh, to uh, to our downloads. Open up the zipped file, and there's our WordPress folder. Let's just drag that out onto our desktop. You can put it anywhere that you uh, anywhere you can find it. Really, the next thing we want to do is open up an FTP program. I have FileZilla installed on here. And um, I have another video up in my channel that shows how to install FileZilla if you do not have that. Or if you have another FTP program, that will work just fine. You're going to want to put in the information provided to you by your web host. Uh, my particular FTP host is the same as the domain name, which is uh, a domain I have, mycooldeck.com. So I'll put that in. The username, of course, that's also provided by your host and password hit enter and it automatically uh, logged me in looks like the password and username were correct here you see the files that are in your web hosting folder the uh, number of uh, hidden files and so forth in the direct folder then if you go to the public underscore html that's where your web site files themselves are held uh, www folder actually is just a symbolic link. This is a Linux host, a symbolic link into the uh, public underscore HTML folder. So both of those folders actually point to the same place, and you'll see the same files in there. Over here is on my desktop, WordPress, the folder that we uh, decompressed and drug onto the desktop. These are all the uh, files and folders inside the um, that I downloaded from WordPress, uh, WP Admin, WP Content, which contains the themes, plugins, um, WP Includes. We're just going to choose the top one, go to the bottom, shift, click to, to uh, choose the whole batch. And you could either drag these across or double uh, right click and uh, upload. And that will move them, all the files across there. Okay, we have all our files uploaded to the to the site. Now we're going to go to this happens to be a cPanel host, so I'm going to go into cPanel at my uh, uh, my site control panel, and let's start by installing a database. I like to use the wizard MySQL wizard because you can install a database and the user uh, at the same time. So we're just going to call it WP. And username, WP, password, we'll make something up uh, that uh, is easy for us to remember. Go to next, and it's going to add that user to that database with my password. And we'll uh, go back to cPanel Home. The other thing we need to do is go in we'll go in here to the file manager and make the permissions of the public HTML uh, so that WordPress can create its config file. We'll just click on pub public, H public underscore HTML and change the permissions of that to uh, make it writable. Uh, it already was writable, but uh, we'll change that back here in a second. So then we go to our website itself, mycooldeck.com, and it's going to bring up the um, installation screen. Doesn't seem to be a wp underscore or wp dash config PHP file. Uh, that's because we didn't create one manually. You can also create this file manually if you would like, but WordPress will uh, create it for you. Uh, database name is not WordPress. It is that uh, it's our username, mycool de underscore wp what we named the database same is the um, username is my cool de underscore wp and we got this back in remember in our uh, 
in cPanel when we did the uh, created the database, we actually just named the last part of it. cPanel host adds the actual username of the account onto the front of your database name so that it can keep track of the different ones in the server. Um, so our database name is MyCoolDE underscore WP, and our username is the same thing. So go back to our WordPress install here. Our password was something uh, that we uh, created, and I don't want to actually show you what that is. Uh, we we'll leave the table prefix there as it is, and run the install. Our blog title is going to be my, my cool deck. My email is info at mycooldeck.com, which I created earlier, and install. And it made up a password. No way I'm going to remember that password. So let me copy that and log in with that password. And paste that in there. Use admin. Log in. There we go. First thing I always do is go in and my administrative user has the highest uh, security settings. So I'm going to make that password something I'll remember. Otherwise, I'll lock myself out of the site and never be able to get back in. Okay, we have our user password changed. And let's just look at a couple of the settings in here. Oh, my cool deck. The, we change the tagline to the greatest decks ever. And all that's the same. My week starts on Sunday. Save that. Let's just look at the site. My cool deck. Something's a little bit wrong with the uh, with the theme, but that is the basic install. So come see us at seosupportforum.com.